Welcome Miller's Monsters and this is Haunted Items. Uh, we're going to talk about the Bassano vase and uh, it's believed to originated from Napoli, Italy and um, there's a lot of mystery behind this particular haunted item and not a lot of information on the item itself and I'll tell you more why uh, near the end of this segment but uh, you know, it, it came up a few times in, in when I was researching most haunted items, and so I decided I'd talk about it. And uh, the earliest account of this vase is in the 15th century. And um, as with this, and something that it has a lot of uncertainty, 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 uncertainty behind it, my goodness, um, stories vary. So the main part of the story from the 15th century is a, uh, a wa uh, not a wife, but a uh, bride uh, before her wedding day was either gifted this vase or made this vase. I don't know how she can make a vase so fast the day before, but uh, the vase itself is said to be uh, made of uh, silver and... Uh, it was given to the bride or again made and uh, the next day the woman was found dead and uh, it was uh, either murder or she just died uh, depending on the story and she was found clinging the vase in some of them so that's one unfortunate event well of course a family member took o over ownership of that vase and that family member also perished um, and then another family member took over the vase and the same thing happened to her she perished suddenly after getting it so a third time after someone received this there was another quick death and the family said we're done with this vase and um, no one knows what happened to it uh, then uh, it disappeared for quite a while rumor is it was buried under a church uh, somewhere so uh, you know it wouldn't be it wouldn't cause any more harm to anybody uh, but it did return I believe the year was uh, 1988 where lost the magic wand there uh where uh someone supposedly found it dug it up and sold it to a pharmacist well guess what the pharmacist died three months after he acquired the vase uh, the vase was then sold to a doctor he died at the age of 37 only a few short months later and then uh, it was sold once again to a collector who also perished uh, in three months and um, so he died of a mysterious infection the other deaths are unknown uh, we don't know if the bride was murdered or died there was no murder investigation that anybody could find about so maybe she just died um, but you can see what we got up to one two three I think seven deaths there and uh, you know, finally, it was decided that they were just going to give this vase to a museum. Well, none of the museums wanted it because the reputation is out that, uh, you know, that this vase is cursed. So, uh, what to do with the vase? Well, there's a few stories. Some say it was just uh, buried. Others say it was buried in a lead case uh, in a cemetery. So, not a lot of... A lot of information for not a lot of uh, uh, history behind it. 